As we know, in the past, metal roofing was generally used for high-profile buildings because these lifetime roofs were too expensive for homeowners to afford. Compared to metals like copper, lead, zinc, and gold, steel is a much less expensive roofing material. That is what helped metal to enter the residential roofing market. However, the natural look of steel wasn't the most visually pleasing to homeowners. If left untreated, steel would simply rust. Galvanization helped to resist rusting, but that still wasn't the most attractive look. The innovation of coating the steel in different colored paints opened many new options and styles, but it still had unwelcome quirks, like the fact that people viewed the roof as giving homes a sort of barn-like or commercial institutional building appearance, or the fact that the slightest scratch would cause the steel to rust. Then came stone-coated steel. The new concept of stone coating the steel, which would change the appearance of metal roofing forever, was discovered by accident. In 1952, New Zealand industrialist LJ Fisher made the first residential metal roof tile that was stone coated with natural stone granules. This accidental innovation of adhering the stone granules to the galvanized steel helped the aesthetics of the steel roof because it resembled less of a shiny metal and more like a natural clay or concrete tile. Later, other unexpected benefits to stone coating steel were discovered. Stone retains its color, unlike painted metal that will fade. It's not noisy during rain or hail storms, and it prevents ice and snow avalanching, which in colder climates can be very costly and not to mention dangerous. How did Fisher accidentally invent stone coated steel? Well, back in World War II, LJ Fisher was given the task of camouflaging airplane hangars to avoid them being seen and bombed from above. He coated the steel roofs with asphalt and covered them with materials like sticks and leaves. Years later, when Fisher went back to visit the war site, he noticed that the roofs that he covered in asphalt were in much better condition than the steel roofs he did not cover. He decided to take this concept back home to New Zealand. Troubles arose when the panels were stacked for shipping purposes. Heat would melt the bitumen on the bundled panels, making them stick together. To solve this problem, Fisher figured throwing sand on the bitumen would prevent them from sticking together. This led to the realization that these panels could be made more visually appealing if they were to use different colored stone granules instead of sand. Thus, stone-coated panels were invented. In 1954, Alex Harvey Industries, also known as AHI, launched the Harvey Tile and bought LJ Fisher & Company three years later. They introduced a new patented Decra tile profile with the brand name Decramastic. Decramastic was made up of galvanized steel sheets in the shape of five tiles with the bitumastic and stone coating. In 1978, the product is shown on Fairgo, a national television program in New Zealand, and proved to suffer many failures. Decramastic sales quickly dropped 50%. In 1980, AHI introduced a pure acrylic base coat tile and trademark Decrabond. Presently, all stone-coated steel roofing manufacturers use acrylic in their base coat formulas, and all can trace their lineage back to 1950s New Zealand. The first new profile since 1957, the Corona Shake, is introduced in 1990. In 1999, Decker Shingle is introduced into the US market, and many offspring companies all over the world follow suit. Today's stone-coated steel roofs are comprised of the same basic ingredients, but profiles have evolved tremendously. The tile look was the first to spread all across the world, but the new profile sales quickly surpassed the original tiles. Of course, other profiles started quickly developing, including the shingle and rounder versions of the tile. Bat Group Incorporated was the first company to organize all the different stone-coated metal companies and all their different profiles under one roof in an easy reference chart. Hidden fastener profiles have been popular recently and the new addition is the world's first slate profile from Metstar. This brings stone coating full circle, stone coating a metal roof where the metal is formed to look like a stone. 